क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी द वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी इन द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू द पॉवर ऑफ माइनस टी इंटू यू ऑफ टी अप टू विच द सिग्नल विल कंटेन सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी इज सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी इज आस्किंग वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉज आस्किंग वॉट इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी दट इज ओमेगा वॉज आस्किंग सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस वन एक्स ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू ई पवर माइनस टी इंटू यू ऑफ टी इज द वैल्यू अप्लाई फॉर ए ट्रांसफॉर्म इफ यू अप्लाई फॉर ए ट्रांसफॉर्म एक्स ऑफ अमीगा इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल दट ऑफ टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस जी ओमेगा बिकॉज ए इज इक्वल टू वन दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस जी ओमेगा इज प्रेजेंट सो नेक्स्ट वन इज एक्स ऑफ ओमेगा वैल्यू मॉड ऑफ एक्स ऑफ ओमेगा फिर बोर्ड मॉड ऑफ एक्स ऑफ ओमेगा दट इज गिवेन एज टू डिवाइडेड बाई अंडर द रूट ऑफ वन स्क्वेर प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वेर इज द वैल्यू वी आर है so that's what you can find out the value call as 2 divided by root of 1 plus uh, mu square is the value we are have this is all about the fourier transform we have in that we need to know about the energy so we use the parsevel's power theorem or rayleigh's energy theorem once we are talking about the rayleigh's energy theorem so energy e is going to be equal to that of that is integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod of x of t whole square into dt is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod of x of omega whole square into d omega which is said to be called as the rayleigh energy theorem we are having so first of all we need to calculate our energy e is equal to integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod of x of t whole square into dt such e is equal to zero to infinite because x of t is u of t only so zero to infinite so value is equal to 4 into e to the power of minus 2t into dt then energy e is equal to 4 into e to the power of minus 2t divided by minus 2 the limits are from zero to infinite substitute the upper limit that is minus e to the power of infinite minus e to the power of 0 so minus 2 then energy is equal to 2 joules we are going to be obtain so that's called as energy present in the signal now we can write that the given condition is the value of frequency in the spectrum of the signal up to which the signal will contain 60% of total energy so total energy present in the signal is 2 joules out of that 60% is going to be required to calculate the frequency now we can tell like this that is called as 60% of e energy is equal to so 1 by 2 pi integral of the value is going to be given as from minus omega 1 to omega because we want some frequency value of frequency so it is speaking from minus infinite to plus infinite but writing from minus omega 1 to omega 1 the reason is we need to know some frequency value has to be present out of that frequency what frequency the value is present this is the total uh, energy present in the spectrum but there is a part of the energy 60% of energy that present in those frequencies we are calculating okay into mod of x of omega whole square into d omega so 60% means 6 by 100 into 2 is the energy so 1 by 2 pi integral of minus omega 1 to omega 1 so mod of x of omega is 2 by root of 1 plus omega square mod of x of omega whole square is going to be equal to of 4 divided by uh, 1 plus omega square into d omega is the value that is given as 1 plus omega square into d omega is the value so if you see that uh, by calculating this entire uh, part so we are getting it is 1.2 is equal to that of uh, 1 by 2 pi so this is an even function so we can write 2 into integral 0 to omega 1 this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out value is equal to 4 divided by 1 plus omega square into uh, d omega then the left over value is 1 by 2 pi and the integration of uh, this that is 4 is also there that is going to be given as uh, 
so tan inverse of uh, omega by 1 and the limits are from 0 to omega 1 so the value is given as 1.24 divided by 4 that is equal to tan inverse of omega 1 so minus tan inverse of 0 is 0 so tan inverse of omega 1 is present so, if you calculate your omega 1 using the calculator that is equal to tan of 1.2 pi by 4 that is equal to that of value is equal to 3 pi by 10 the answer is 1.37 radians per second. So, omega 1 is equal to 1.37 radians per second. Use your calculator so that you will get the value. Okay. So, tan of 3 pi by 10 is 1.37 radians per second. Put in the radian mode and calculate it. Okay.